Hi, I'm Sage Lewis. I'm the president of SageRock.com, and today I wanted to give you a quick introduction to search engine optimization, or what the basics of it are. I get this question a lot, and so I thought I'd just put a little video uh, about it together for you. Uh, there are two aspects, two general umbrellas when you are considering search engine optimization. There are what we call on-the-page criteria and off-the-page criteria. So and on the page criteria, that is everything that is on your website. So the content on your website, the title tags in your website, image, alt tags, meta tags, meta keyword tags, meta description tags, um, heading tags within your content. Uh, it, it, it even search engines look at things like bolding and italics and what words you're using to link to other pages within your site. Uh, and really that was how search engines ranked sites for the longest time. It was all on the page criteria stuff. And that was uh, early on, you know, in fact it was so bad that, that was, search engines were just looking at meta tags. So your meta keyword tag, uh, you, a lot of times people think, oh well I'll just put, I'll put all these words in my meta keyword tag and I'll come up for all of them. And believe it or not, there was a time in the search engine history that that was possible, that you could just put keywords in your meta keyword tag and poof, you'd come up for them. And so, uh, I find it interesting that that belief is still carried on to this day, that, that the meta keyword tag is, is that powerful. Uh, to this day, the meta keyword tag at best is minimally looked at and oftentimes is not regarded at all. Uh, we still use it. There are search engine optimization firms that don't use it at all, and I can certainly see their perspective why they, they wouldn't. But uh, on-the-page criteria plays a very important role. The amount of content that you have, the quality content, the, uh, the content discussing key phrases that people are searching on in the search engines. Something that people oftentimes don't realize is that in order for you to come up in, in the search engines, you have to use the phrases that you're imagining your audience is searching on. So... Uh, if your phrase is is uh, um, you know boat insurance, you know you're selling boat insurance, but internally you use the words watercraft insurance. Don't use watercraft insurance on your site because you're going to be number one for watercraft insurance potentially, and nowhere for boat insurance, which is what everybody is searching on. So understand your customers, understand the words that they're using, and use those words. It, it's going to make them feel more comfortable, and you're going to do better on the search engines. So that's on the page criteria. Off the page criteria is everybody else and how they relate to your website. So the big examples uh, of the importance of off the page criteria were in the 2004 presidential elections. Uh, this is currently August of 2006. And if you type in the word failure in Google, the number one listing is George Bush's biography on the uh, White House uh, um, .gov website. Interestingly, the number two listing for the word failure is Michael Moore. Now, neither of them are using or optimizing on the word failure. It's all these other websites that are linking to their website with the word failure. So this became a very, very powerful way of, of doing well on the search engines by having other people link to you and uh, explicitly having them link to you in a very certain way. Now in these two examples that I've talked about with failure, you know, they didn't want that, but you can use that information for good. So, if your phrase is boat insurance, you want to try and get links on reputable websites that link back to you with the words boat insurance because the search engines will go to that website and will say, oh, well, here's another website about boat insurance because that's the hyperlink, that's the text blue hyperlink that was on their website and you'll get credit for that. Um, now, so you think, well, if, if, if a few links are good, thousands must be great. 
you do not, especially in today's climate, want to do anything that is sneaky or uh, trying to trick the search engines. I don't recommend buying links anymore. I don't really recommend link exchanges for link building sake. Certainly nothing like a link farm where, where you put your site in one of a thousands of other websites and you put those links hidden somewhere on your website. Never ever do that. That can just get you banned from the search engines. You want to find links from legitimate related sites that want to link to you. It's good PR and it's good for the search engines. So you know, if you're an insurance site, if you're a boat insurance site, go out and find insurance directories. Uh, you maybe your chamber of commerce. If you're a member of them, try and get a link on their website. Any site that makes sense to link from their site to your site is is worthwhile. So that's it. That's the story. Now you're a search engine optimization master. There are a lot of details that are within those two umbrellas, but that's really all there is to it. Some people ask me uh, can, how many pages can get indexed on a search engine. All your pages can get indexed on a search engine. So every page should be focused on a particular key phrase that your visitor might be searching on. Uh, and that would be an opportunity for a new person to come into your site and learn more about you. So there you go. That's an intro to search engine optimization. If you'd like to talk about this more, uh, my phone number is 330-379-9000. My email, my personal email is sage at sagerock.com. I'd be more than happy to talk to you. I'd be happy to give you a free consultation of your website, a free half-hour consultation. You can call and, or email me and schedule that. I'd be happy to do that. Uh, I look forward to talking to you. We have a lot of information on our website. Please feel free to look around. And uh, thank you once again. Have a great day.